Hey y'all, it's Cassie, the creator of Pieces of Scrap, and today I wanted to go over some of my market prep that I'm doing. And uh, today is Tuesday, October 17th, and my market is this Saturday, October 21st. So I'm feeling a little worried. I have enough stuff for this market, but the biggest thing is I don't know if I'll have enough for the market that comes after this one because I'll be going on vacation for eight days in between my next market and now and so I won't have a lot of time to prep when I get back if I end up selling a lot at this market so I'm hoping that I can get enough prepping done that I'll be comfortable enough to be like okay if I if I sell out of a lot of stuff I'll be okay for next time so here's the stuff I've been making this week I've been trying a lot of new patterns off of Instagram that are free and the first one that I have been trying are these worry whales and they make these little itty bitty whales and they're all so cute they take like 20 minutes each and I've made six of them so far two of each color so that is awesome and then I've also been making axolotls and this is also another free Instagram pattern I love how squishy these are these are no so I've made four of these guys I've made two in pink and two in blue and then I also tried out the budgie pattern I've made only one birds so far, but I love this pattern. I love how the wings come out. They've got little feathers on the end of them, so you don't just have like a magic circle as a wing. You have a magic circle with feathers at the end, and I absolutely love it. And it also just like sits really well. It's super cute. And I made him like a little cardinal. And then I also made the dandelion pattern, and this is a... <laughs> A lion but instead of having like a brown mane it has a dandelion face and mane so it kind of just looks like a flower. I ran out of green so I had to make the butt yellow because so it kind of just looks like he's wearing a costume <laughs> but it's it's pretty cute and then I also made this chubby dinosaur and I love how he came out there is sewing involved with this you have to sew on the legs and the spikes and the tail but overall, really cute pattern. And then of course I've also been making beanies like a mad woman. I've made, I think like 16 beanies now. Um, and with the leftover yarn from my beanies, I'm gonna make more pumpkins because when I was doing inventory um, a week ago, I realized that I have like a really uneven number of pumpkins. I have like way too many smalls compared to my mediums and larges, so I've got to work on that too. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and I'll come back later with more market prep updates. Hey y'all, today I am getting ready to price a bunch of items that I uh, have made. I usually put them in this bin when it needs to be priced and all these hats are usually in there too because they need to be priced and um, then I will make price tags for everything in the bin once I have filled up this bin or once I'm satisfied with everything that's in there. So today I'm going to price all of these plushies and all of these hats and then later today I'm also going to work on making pumpkins with leftover yarn from these hats. Um, gluing their stems into the pumpkins and making more um, axolotls and whales. I think I want to make a bunch of these little guys because um, my husband, every time I show them to him, he says that they would be very good stocking stuffers. So I just want to make a bunch more little things like this. Um, and then I'm going to, after I finish pricing all of these items, I will put them into my Square app so that I have updated inventories of everything and the new listings will have prices on them so I don't forget to do that for Saturday. And then I also wanted to show you guys, I got kind of like a little haul at Dollar Tree yesterday. I was looking in the Dollar Tree for display items specifically and I got these stacking cubes. I got four stacking cubes and they're awesome because um, they have these little holes on each side and on the opposite sides they have like little stems that so um, when you stack them they like connect into each other. 
so they stack really nice and they all clip into each other so they'll like stay pretty sturdy and you can make, use these as like little shelves or little baskets in your booth I'm gonna use them as little shelves because I need more vertical interest for my booth and if I stack things in these little shelves I can create more visual interest and people will feel like that there's more to look at when they come look at my booth and that is what these will be for. I'm pretty excited to um, do a mock-up of my booth either this Thursday which is tomorrow or Friday. In addition to these cubes back here I also got some more of these little chalkboard signs and I got the ones that you can sit horizontally but these are really cool you can just lean up against stuff if you want a vertical frame too, but they have the kickstand for the horizontal. But I found that these are really awesome for um, my wire mesh cubes, but also they'd be really awesome for this because you could just stick the, uh, actually you can't really see that, can you? You can just stick the kickstand into one of the holes and then it'll stay there. And you can also just lean it up in there, whatever you need to do. And then the other thing that I got that I'm really excited about is I got this organizer. I got two of these because I didn't know how many I needed, but I got two of these and I got it to organize all, all my safety eyes because um, prior to putting them all in here, um, all of my safety eyes were in the packaging that they came in. And so they were all in these little itty bitty um, plastic bags and not all of them were sealable. Yeah, so I thought I'd hang out with you guys today while I price items. I usually what I do here is I'll count up how many of an item that I have. So right here I have four of these beanies and they're all the same price. They're $24 each. So I'll make four tags that are for $24 and I already have all of these pre-cut. But basically what I did is I took a piece of construction paper and I just folded it in half over and over and over again until I got the the size that I wanted. These are pretty small and then once I cut them into those sizes I added the little triangle at the edge so it looks like a price tag and then I used a hole puncher to hole punch in the middle of those little triangles and all I do now is I write down the price on each of these on both sides so that it's double sided and then once it is done I have these pieces of yarn and I just use a crochet hook to insert this through a loop and I will just tie this end and knot and trim it so that there isn't a lot of excess there and that is how I attach my price tags and I like that um, all of them are the same color I can see in the future or if anybody wants to do this you could even color code your price tag so you could have a sign that says red price tags are this much yellow price tags are this much etc hey guys so I've been kind of struggling the past couple days because I picked up a little bit of a cold. Um, I'm sure you can probably hear it in my voice. I have a sore throat and I'm congested and I haven't had a lot of time to like make things. Um, I spent a lot of yesterday unraveling a quilt that I started with some yarn that I'm actually going to repurpose for pumpkins. So today I'm going to make pumpkins. But first, I wanted to do a mock setup for you guys. Um, this will be the first time that I'm in an outdoor space and have the 10 by 10 limitation to my space um, since my first market. And I had some new ideas since my first market. So I'm going to go outside and do my mock setup and I will film me doing that so you guys can kind of see how I determine what where things are supposed to go and what it what I want it to look like and you can kind of see what I was talking about with my vertical uh, interest I wanted to add some vertical interest so I'm gonna try to do that a lot more today I think
So what do you guys think? I think it turned out really well. I like doing these mock setups because it is really helpful to kind of have a game plan going into my booth setup a couple days or the day before. And this one specifically kind of helped me visualize what I need more of. Um, and what I'm missing. So I came away knowing that I need to make some more triceratops and more axolotls and maybe some more mini whales and that'll fill up the space a lot more. I was a little worried about where my adult beanies were gonna go, but it turned out they, they fit kind of perfectly in front of these little cube shelves that I bought. And if you'll also notice, I also didn't put any of my earrings up just because I was feeling a little lazy. It's kind of a time consuming process to do that. So I put up where the board's gonna be, but didn't put any earrings on it. Hey y'all, so it is Friday and I'm currently working on making some pumpkins. I'm trying to make it so I have an even number of all my pumpkins. Right now I have a ton more medium pumpkins than I have small or large. And then after I'm done with pumpkins for the day, I'm going to try to get some more mini triceratops done. Um, I am completely sold out of my blue triceratops. I had two and I sold both of them and so I have none. And then I only have one yellow one and then everyone else I have at least two of. So I'm gonna try to even out that number and I'm gonna try to make some more axolotls. But on top of that, I have like a lot of other things I'm trying to do today. I just got back from lunch and grocery shopping because I won't have... Normally I do my grocery shopping on Sunday afternoons, but um, this Sunday will be very busy for us. So we had to get our groceries on a Friday this week. And then tomorrow, Saturday, obviously I have the peanut festival all day, so we won't be able to get groceries tomorrow. So we ended up doing it today. Um, still have to work out at some time today and my husband wants me to give him a haircut today so I have to make time for that as well. Already did laundry so I have all my like little kind of annoying chores done. It's just really trying to get done um, a couple more things and then just making sure I have everything ready for tomorrow. And then on top of that, I kind of talked with my husband on the way home today. I was thinking about um, switching my shop over to Etsy because at least that way I'm not the only one marketing my shop. At least Etsy like naturally um, pushes my content and so I wouldn't have to, you know, keep shouting out my, my store constantly online. The reason I've been hesitant about Etsy is just because I've heard there's just a lot of ways that they get money out of you and, um, you know, there, there's a trade-off with that where they actually, like, push your content and stuff like that and you don't have to worry about, you know, buying ads for ad space so that people will actually look at your store. You know, I was just thinking about it and if I want more online sales, I really need to switch to Etsy. Um, Kofi just doesn't seem like a good alternative to Etsy because people don't really trust Kofi. There's not like enough name recognition there. And then on top of that, you can't just like go to Kofi.com and like search for something that you want. Um, you have to know somebody on Kofi and have their link to look th at their st at their content on their on their store. Whereas Etsy, you can just search, hey, I want a crocheted cow or whatever and it'll show you all the results from any creator that has made a crocheted cow and then that way there's not a lot of like extra work that goes into getting your store recognized by people and stuff like that but overall I'm hoping that I'll get some more online sales this way I am currently getting no online sales through my Kofi shop so it will be a step up regardless because I hope I will at least get one sale from my Etsy store. And then I'm still kind of getting over a cold. I think it's mostly allergies at this point. I'm just like really congested and my throat's itchy. Took an allergy pill a couple hours ago prior to leaving the house and it definitely helped. So um, I'm hoping that if I take one tomorrow, that will help me from getting worse while I'm outside all day. But I've noticed that I have been getting better each day, which is, all that I could have ho hoped for. I was worried that I was gonna keep getting worse, but I, the weather's getting warmer, so it's like 
It's not um, making it harder for me to, to recover from whatever this is, which is awesome. Here's my pumpkin so far. I've got to get this. My pumpkins are just worked in a rectangle and the large ones are six inches tall by 15 inches wide. So I think we're about two thirds of the way to my 15 inches. And then I was also thinking I'll have a lot more extra yarn of this color and I can work on that at the peanut festival. So I'll have something to be working on and um, I can just uh, work them up really quickly. I don't need to sew them closed or anything like that. I can just leave that for when I'm at home and that way I don't have to worry about bringing a needle or anything like that. I could just bring my hook and the yarn and just work that way. Oh yeah, and I didn't mention on top of that, this is the video that's coming out this week. And today's Friday, today is the day I'm posting it, so I also need to make sure that I edit this video in time to go out today. And I think it will go out later today, rather than earlier today. But at least I'm posting on Friday, because last week I couldn't post on Friday. I didn't have enough time to even make a YouTube video. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up this pumpkin, and um, I think that's all that I will show for this video since it has to go out today. So, hope you guys enjoyed this market prep video. Uh, next week's video will be my market recap to see how that went, what things sold. Um, this market prep and market video will be a little different because the past two that I've made, I've showed everything that I've brought to these markets, but um, a lot of my inventory hasn't changed, so I won't be showing the repeat stuff. I might show you guys um, some of the newer things. <laughs> But then again, I might not. I think people aren't as interested in what I'm bringing as they are interested in how well I did and actually seeing the setup and stuff like that. So this time I'm going to try to get more footage of the setup and me at the market itself because that is a lot more entertaining in my opinion than just seeing like afterwards and having a chat in my house instead of having a chat like physically at my booth. And I will also try to get some footage of the actual event too, not just my booth. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below and like this video. And if you like my content, make sure you subscribe. I put out new videos every Friday. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.